guys, 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 we are back, everybody, guys, we are back, um, shout out to the subs, shout out to everybody who's watching, obviously, super huge shout out to the hive, right, obviously, so, guys, you already know, the the goal is to do everything B. That's where the goal is to do her whole discography. And that includes not only the albums, but that includes any other tracks that she might have been on that we haven't heard. So, uh, you guys might have saw that today. We did the, um, the J Balvin uh, Mi Gente and the remix that she was on. Which, shout out to everybody too who let me know how she got on that, I didn't even know. Shout out to Blue for, <laughs> I guess, putting that together. <laughs> that's fire. No, but that's fire. Shout out to everybody. Um, but I got to say, big, super huge, big shout out to M. Braxton. You're the best. Uh, you're always on here. Always on the channel. Love you. You're the best. Um, love to uh, comment with a bunch of, uh, just some more stuff to check out from her that we haven't gotten to yet. Stuff that she's just she was on, but that wasn't, you know on any of her albums so guys right now guys let's just get right into it guys released march 3rd 2018 we got jay-z future and beyonce with dj khaled i can't wait to hear him say that that this is another one <laughs> i can't wait for it guys i can't wait for him to say his name 20 times and then to say another one and to say we the best music it's good it, that's the best part i know people are, uh, i'll rap about it after guys let's get into it guys top off let's get into it guys you know what it would all honestly help if i like unmuted this <laughs> Rookie mistake. What do you think I'm gonna do this video over? Absolutely not. Guys, let's get into this. Uh-uh, shit, real too. Oh! I ain't gonna stop. I see the... I ain't gonna stop. I mean... <laughs> we the best music! I see the time of the baby. I see the time of... Another one. I see the time of the baby. I see the time of... I, I, to the top. C a 12, wow. I do the whole dash with no seatbelt Screaming free my nigga Meek Mill Niggas can't Willie in this free world Meanwhile Georgie Paul, you send him and sending me threats Save your breath, you couldn't beat a flight of steps Try that shit with a grown man I'll kill that fuckboy with my own hand And hop back in the coop Let's go back to the mud, I hop right out the soup Save all that whoopie whoop Let's let the money talk, let the Uzi shoot No jewels in this paddock for Lee It's complicated, three million a piece That's how we do time You shot by the mag, that's how we do wine 91,000 for a wine bill Keep it real with you, that was wine bill My whole team ball Everybody's a star but the team ball 61 with the thing off Me and Blue having a sing off Got some raspberry, beret The kind you find in a second hand store That's a Venice piece Kinda make haters kiss their teeth You can't buy this new I had to back, 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 you know how I do Two-tone with the powder blue woo, 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 woo. Real as shit to come out the stew Callin is valid, every word is true What these niggas gonna do without us go? I chop the top off and notice. Ride around town with the floaters. 1.5 for the landlady. B put the fuck boy on notice. I'm the only lady that's still a realest nigga in the room. I'm <laughs> the internet top two and I ain't number two. Go. I did the top of the Maybach. I did the top of the 
to hear I didn't really um I don't know first of all I'll say that okay the beat itself was very from back then <laughs> you know what I mean like it was very much sounds like it just reminds me of back then even though I didn't hear the song back then but it just reminds me of when every single all you were just hearing was nothing but just trap beats everything was a trap beat like and like uh I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was like this was cool. I wasn't like too crazy. I'm not too hype off this one. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like it wasn't like amazing. Like I will say, I will say, I did think, I did think B's verse was better than Jay's verse to be honest. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like <sighs> all right because like. First of all, I have no idea how this was even written. I, don't, I wasn't there at the writing sessions. I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm, this is all speculation. But if I had to assume, I would assume that Jay wrote both of their, both of she, that he wrote her verse and his verse. That's what I would have to assume. And, uh, but that I would have to assume, like when you're writing for B, it's different. And of course, too, she's going to still, at the end of the day, you know, have her own input and final say over what she's gonna end up wanting to actually do. You know what I mean? Meaning, my point being like, I feel like, like I feel like I feel like Jay's style is like is like a is like a weird style where it's like, like I I understand why people put him as the greatest, and I also understand why people think he's overrated and he's trash. Like I I simultaneously because in his style, like. He has like such like a slick style of like the way he puts bars together that plus like the type of stuff that he's talking as his throughout his career. But then at the same time, he'll have certain bars where it's like, bro, what the fuck was that? Like that was trash. Like that was so garbage. Like, whoa, what the fuck was that? But he'll have like a bar that's like, what the bro no come on but then like a bar later he'll have one that's like ooh, that was slick and then he'll have one like another bar where you're like oh that was fire you know what i mean like i feel like that's kind of the way his style is and my point is to say i felt like that's how his verse his verses were on this his verse was on this um but my point is to say that's why i think b had the better verse because i feel like Again, I could be wrong. I don't know. I would just have to. I'm just assuming. Uh, this again. This is completely assuming that she didn't write her verse. I'm just assuming, um, because, you know, we know that we know that that's literally he's done that for her. So I mean, it's not. It's not like <laughs> it's not like that crazy of a reach to think that he would have done it for her on this one. We know he's done it for her in the past. Like he's written, you know, mean verses for her because. I mean, he's a rapper. What the fuck? It's, it's chicks, so of course. You know what I mean? Of course. So I'm saying though, my point is like because she might not be writing it or her input is just to say an overall direction or a yes or no like she had like a way better verse i feel like that was the same thing on on i feel like on most of that album of um of that album that they did together the carter's album i felt like because when you hear it you're like like a b is kind of clearing j on this like what's going on <laughs> but i feel like that's kind of the reason why you know what i mean I feel like that has a lot to do with it, sort of, where it's like, where, where Jay on his own verse, he's kind of writing more in his own type thing, you know what I mean? Where he has a couple of things where it's like, uh, but then he'll hit you with some little slick when you're like, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. You know what I mean? So, anyway, I don't know. That was, uh, 
I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of disappointed that we didn't get to hear that that Kelly didn't say his name like 20 times. That's what I was really hoping for. <laughs> I I legit. This is a side rap, guys, but I don't care. You guys could end this video whenever you want, right? I legit think that Khaled is like. I think he gets as, in terms of the music and what he does, I think he gets unnecessarily hated on, because. I don't know. I think it's like, it, man, if you can manage to bring a bunch of people together to do something fire, but your whole thing was to just curate it, but you didn't do anything else. You didn't actually do anything aside from the curation but without that curation the thing wouldn't have happened in the first place it's like a director in a movie sort of you know what i mean like in a sense of like hey the, the, uh, most of the time depending on the movie or the director like a lot of times directors don't they don't actually act in the movie they're not actually controlling the camera they're not actually the ones doing the color and they're not actually doing the edit they're not actually doing the this or that or they're not actually but they have they have their it's their input that's like you know what i mean like they're not actually doing the lighting but of course they they do you know what I'm saying? But they're in charge of sort of, or even, and again, it's his input is, you know, varied in different things. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I feel like he gets a lot of unnecessary hate. I think Gallant is one of the most hilarious human beings I've ever seen. Um, as a matter of fact, guys, <laughs> we got to do it, guys. <laughs> Anybody who's still watching, so guys, we did this on a live a couple of weeks ago. We gotta do it again. <clears throat> so guys, this was a few years ago. Actually, the story doesn't even matter. Well, actually, the story does matter because I wanted I want you to guys know, to know why I happen to have this book. I didn't just buy this book. Long story short, I used to go out with the chick who uh, was a producer on a like on a talk show, and uh, you know people like the they send in like the. You know, they send in stuff when they're pitching guests and they send whatever their, you know, is a new thing that they're there to promote. They'll send promotional copies, right? And so they get, they would get out. She would give me stuff all the time, all the time. But anyway, so she gave me this. This is, guys, the keys from DJ Khaled. Uh, they don't even, they didn't even bother to put the name of the ghostwriter. Um, but uh, guys, first of all, look at this picture of him on the back. And it says, ride with me through the journey of more success. So guys, I swear, guys, this is the most hilarious book that you'll ever read. Because it's it's half of it is actually just like, it's like good advice, but it's like the most generic ever. Like, you know, like keep at it. Don't let them bring you down. You know what I mean? Stick to your dreams. You know what I mean? Just keep going for it. Like it's <laughs> like that type of advice, which is like, it is good advice. But it's just so generic. You know what I mean? That's just, just such. But I mean, again, what kind of any type of self help book or any type? It's all the most generic shit anyway. So whatever. But, um, but my point is, though, it's hilarious because it's half that, but then it's just half Callan talking all crazy. So, like, to whoever he fucking because I I don't know I don't think this fool wrote it himself obviously. But so guys, uh, we're just gonna go to a random page, guys. Uh, let's just see. All right, guys. <laughs> Guys, you ready for this? All right. Just as storms come, storms also end. But you got to picture it. I can't talk. I picture the Khaled voice, though. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? DJ Khaled, we the best. We picture the way that fool talks. You know what I mean? Like, like, the key is to keep your head up and work through it with your mind focused. <laughs> like, what? It's the most generic shit. I can't believe this was a book. This is crazy. Shout out to Khaled, man. He got a book deal and got we got people buying that. That's crazy. Shout out to him for that for real. Life is like school. You will be tested. <laughs> the key is to pass it. What does this even mean? What could that be any more generic? Holy sh I'm telling you guys, this book is amazing. It's the most generic shit ever. Guys, life is like school. You will be tested. The key is to pass it. <laughs> and you have to do well on those tests over time in order to graduate. <laughs> oh, shut up to fucking Callie, bro. This book is amazing, guys. I'm telling you guys, this shit is crazy. Here, another page. 
Uh, uh, still, that was home. And I'm used to a certain amount of attention in Miami. So it wasn't until I went to Vegas to DJ at Tao for New Year's Eve that I knew things had really changed. I don't fly, so I get there on my tour bus. And I get up to the hotel and I walk into the lobby. And a few people are like, Yo, Khaled! Yo, Khaled! Yo, Khaled! And I'm like, love, love, love. Just give you pounds of walking through because I'm exhausted. I go to my room to sleep. I don't really think anything of it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this book is amazing. Guys, this book, I'm telling you guys, you gotta fuck it. If, guys, if you want, if you want a, the keys, guys, you want the keys? <laughs> and look, this is the blurbs that it says, guys. The book they don't want you to read reveals DJ Khaled's major keys to success. Stay away from they. Secure the bag. <laughs> Guys, these are his major keys to success, all right? Stay away from they. Secure the bag. <laughs> Respect the code. <laughs> I can't even get through. I can't even get through this without dying laughing. Holy shit. Hold up, because I'm trying to read this seriously. Hold up, hold up. The book they don't want you to read reveals DJ Khaled's major keys to success. Stay away from they. Secure the bag. Respect the code. Believe in the hustle. <laughs> win, 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 no matter what. Like, again, that's good advice, but it's supposed to. Why is there a book about this? <laughs> Hey, here's the key to success. Just keep trying. <laughs> Don't give up. <laughs> oh, yeah, no shit. I was his own book. All right, shout out to fucking Khaled. Hold up, guys. We, we gotta, hold up, guys. We gotta find, we gotta see something else. I, 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 I'm just gonna... <laughs> I don't even know where to go because there's just too much good shit in here. I guess we'll just go to another random page, guys. All right. Guys, this fool says, uh... Getting an apartment was easy. Keeping it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm totally done. Shout out to Khaled, man. This was crazy. Oh, here we go. Hold up, guys. Let's see. So I'm Snapchatting, vibing. People are hitting me up with feedback like, Yo, Khaled, I love your Snapchat. I even get a call from Ed Sheeran. He's like, Lion! <laughs> Just say a lion into my phone. And I'm like, oh, Ed, word. You know about that lion. And he's telling me he loves my energy. And I'm like, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what we read the other day. Hold on. We got to finish it. Guys, I, how did I readily open to this page? But we didn't read this, this beginning part. Guys, you got to hear this next part. Hold up. All right. Uh, one day I'm out there jet skiing because I love the ocean. Since Rick Ross lives nearby on the water, I go over there on my jet ski for lunch. We're having a good time, but when I start heading back to my house, I realize it's getting dark. Before long, it's pitch black and I get lost. I'm just out there by myself using the light on my phone to see. Meanwhile, I'm keeping my sense of humor and Snapchatting because I gotta stay focused and because I won't lie to you, I was getting a little scared. Major key for real. Don't drive your jet ski in the dark. <laughs> Don't drive your jet ski in the... Hey, guys, you want... Guys, for only... For only $18, you too could get the major key of don't drive your jet ski in the dark. Yeah, shout out to everybody. <laughs> guys, we'll, we'll be totally back, guys. Guys, shout out to everyone, guys. My channel with my music. Go check it out, guys. In the description. Go check it out, guys. Go, go. You'll dig it. Guys, we'll be back. Shout out to everybody.